backlash against the German Chancellor's perceived open-door policy to migrants. Around 2,000 angry protesters, many from the anti-Muslim movement Pegida, marched in the streets of Leipzig. The first extensive police report on New Year's Eve violence in Cologne reported rampant sexual assaults against women by gangs of men, mainly from North African and Arab countries. These protesters feel it's time for Germany to change its migration policy. They need to go home, all of them, especially the young men, who it has to be said want women. This type of fondling cannot continue. On the other side of the divide, German police reported roughly the same number of counter-demonstrators, aiming to show the openness of German society. What happened in Cologne should not be underestimated, but still we should not blame the majority for the actions of a small group. But back in Cologne, apparent revenge attacks have already been taking place. Police said that on Sunday, large groups of people, some with far-right connections, formed mobs to attack migrants. Pakistanis, Ghanaians and Syrians were among the victims. These groups use social networks to call on people to join what they call strolls in the city and arrange to meet up in various places on Sunday night. Among the 153 people we've questioned, 13 of them are known to have been involved in far-right offences. Recent surveys suggest almost a third of Germans viewed foreigners more critically following the assaults. Nearly half fear similar attacks in their own towns.